Get ready to make a cat ball. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 28 in our Beginner Pottery Well Project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a cap bowl. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, please like the video. And if you want to support me and see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before I get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the cap bowl which is also down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I have 12 ounces of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay. Press the clay down to form the size of the base first, much like making a plate, about 5 inches across. Stop to check the thickness with your needle tool. A half an inch is good. You want to have some weight on the bottom to prevent the cap bowl from tipping over. Smooth out the bottom by moving your fingers back and forth. This also compresses the bottom really well. Once the bottom is smooth and even, pull up the walls. Then add a nice foot with the ultimate edger. Set the cap bowl aside, let dry, then into my scud kiln it goes for a bisque fire at cone 04. After the bisque fire, always wash with a damp sponge to ensure your glaze will bond nicely to the bowl. Apply wax resist to the bottom to easily get off any unwanted glaze. After drawing a heart in the middle of the bowl with a pencil, I'm applying Speedball Red Underglaze with the round detail brush. The pencil marks will burn right off in the kiln. Make sure you mix your underglaze well before applying. speedball red around the foot of the bowl.
If you're having any problems with glazing, check out my article on 27 Glazing Tips for Beginners. I left a link for you in the description below. Then apply Speedball Red to the rim. Make sure the underglaze is totally dry before pouring Amoco Clear Satin Glaze into the bowl. Flip the bowl upside down and apply Amoco Clear Satin Glaze to the outside and let dry. I'm applying a second coat of clear glaze on the inside and outside with the Artist Soft Fan Brush. Let the cap bowl dry, wipe off any glaze on the bottom, then into my scut kiln it goes for a final fire at cone 5. Here's the finished cap bowl. You've got to love, love, love this cap bowl. <laughs> Only one coat of underglaze. It turned out pretty good. And the clear glaze, no crazing, turned out great. This is a cute little cat bowl. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own cat bowl. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.